Breaking news. Wow. See what court has just done. Okay. Court has just declared and stopped INEC from ending the voters registration. We brought you up to speed that um, registration is going on in some remote parts of the north and uh, where we saw even as far as young as children. Okay. And they're giving them birthdays of 19 it is something in order to make them eligible to vote. Uh, you can see some of the pictures we took, brought you up to speed and um, some of the things that are going on. You know, things have gone beyond you can imagine. And, you know, Nigerians are watching. Uh, voters registration is supposed to end. I mean, there have been some, you know, there have been some discussions over, you know, um, people have not been able to vote. Some voting so centers are crowded. And um, real eligible voters have not been able to register and all that. Uh, so let's get all the details. Breaking news. Court stop INEC from ending voters' registration. The Federal High Court in Abuja has stopped the Independent National Electoral Commission from ending voters' registration on 30th of June, 2022. Honorable Justice Mo. Bolaji Court 10 today granted an order of interi injunction following the hearing of an argument on motion expired by Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project Syrup and 185 concerned Nigerians had earlier this month filled in lawsuit against INEC asking the court to declare unconstitutional, illegal and incompatible with international standard, the failure of the electoral body to extend the deadline for voters' registration to allow eligible voters to exercise their right. In the suit, Syrup had asked the court for an order restricting INEC, its agents, assigned, or any other persons, claiming through that it was discontinuing the continuous registration court vote voters registration exercise from the 30th of june 2022 in any date pending the hearing depending on date pending to the hearing of the determination of the motion or notice the suit is adjourned to 29th june 2022 for the hearing of the motion on notice interim injunction the suit followed the declaration by INEC to extend the deadline for the conduct of the primaries by political parties by six days from June the 3rd to June the 9th. But the commission failed to also extend online pre-registration, which ended May 30th, 2022, and continuous voters registration CVR ending 30th of June 2022. So political parties have been looking out for how they can extend this let's continue it says in the suit number the number is there filed at the federal high court lagos and transferred to abuja syrup is asking the court to determine whether the failure of INEC to extend the deadline for voters registration is not a violation of nigerian constitution of the 1999 as amended the electoral act and international standard syrup is asking the courts for a declaration that the failure of INEC to extend the deadline for voters registration is a violation of eligible Nigerians' right to participate freely in their government, in their own government, and, and equal protection of the those opportunity of giving those opportunity who be assigned to govern the nation. So, consigned Nigerians have seen, I mean, you remember when APC has not done their um, their primaries, it was supposed to have ended, uh, you know, but guess what, APC refused, you know, they extended it by another, into June, the 6th to 8th, it was supposed to have ended May, May, last day of May, but the APC ensured that, you know, they did not stop that, they continued in whatever way capacity that they wanted to do this. So this is exactly what is happening now, you see, and we can all see, you know, the things that are going on, which has become a point of, you know, a serious point of call. You know, uh, INEC has now been saddled with the responsibility saying you cannot continue like that. OK, you cannot uh, take away the opportunity for Nigerians to be able to vote. By the way, these are some of the um, findings we got in some parts of the country. 
we are in the remote parts of the country, some parts of the north, not in the urban region or the remote part where children are being given a registration, uh, you know, voters registration uh, and being registered by some fraudulent people, you know, going to the villages uh, so that when the time comes, they will be able to harvest from some of those uh, investments they have made, you know, where they come, give the, the children don't even know what's happening. Give them maybe 1,000 Naira, maybe, you know, and just get them to vote and uh, that's it for the next four to eight years, you know, we don't know. But this is some of the things that they do and then uh, nobody's paying attention. INEC wanted to end the, you know, the eligibility for people to be able to register because if you don't register, you're not able to vote. Even if you are born for Nigeria, you have your Nigerian passport and all that. You cannot vote. You have to re register to be able to participate and actively, you know, vote in the election. Okay, that is ahead of us. But guess what? Those, I mean, some people, because of, I mean, they are working, a lot of things, you know, uh, in, in this area, covering this whole area, you know, a lot of things are involved. You know, people have their lives, but we're encouraging people, please go get your PVC. That is the only way we can get the man who we feel, okay, we are comfortable with could possibly bring a change and a difference, you know, to leadership and bring in laws that could potentially, you know, change the course of the nation and help us to be in a better position. We're not saying such an individual is a saint or is going to be, a, what's it called now, a magician, okay, or we sort out all the problems of Nigeria in one day. But what we don't want, we don't want another repeat of Buhari. Oh, no. This man get there and is doing absolutely nothing. Like, okay, I would like you to please point, apart from the race, and even the race is in shambles because people that were kidnapped are still, okay, some of them are still in that zone. They've not been freed, in case you are wondering. Some of them have still not been freed, in case you are wondering. Some of them have still not been freed, as both of us are speaking now, okay, as both of us are, as we're communicating now, they've still not been freed. Over close to, close to 100 days, close to 100 days. Or because they boarded a uh, train less than uh, how many thousand how many thousand naira, you know, just going from Abuja going from Abuja to Kaduna and Kaduna State Governor cannot be bothered like cannot be bothered. These are some of the terrible things going on, you know, and why everybody everybody must you know must do well to assist and to ensure that you know we are we, we are in a better position by voting the right candidate. God bless. Have a good day. Uh, bye for now. Remember, you have a voice. So let's speak out against everything and anything that could potentially hold us back. God bless. Bye.